my usual brush set is including uh, a two inch brush a flat brush a one inch a flat brush and two round number six and number two brush um, that they are round and um, I usually use them my palette is also very simple the usual palette that includes uh, Acre Yolo, Alizarin Crimson, uh, Prussian Blue and Burns Umber. Mm, now I'm going to start from Sky uh, just by preparing the Sky color with a very watery uh, mixture of uh, Acre and Alizarin Crimson. And I am also going to mix some watery mixture of uh, uh, Pus Blue with some Alizarin Crimson that makes uh, almost a uh, violet uh, color mainly blue but to some extent it's almost uh, violet so my colors are now ready I'm going to start with my flat brush and uh, with uh, random movements to keep some white areas that will represent the clouds then when I'm going to be near to the horizon I'm going to add more orange uh, my color is very watery like tea almost And then for the corner, I'm using a mixture of uh, blue and violet that we prepared previously. You can emphasize uh, some areas to make them a bit darker, but. Uh, keep up uh, our working and our use of uh, brushes I'm happy with the result
the same mixture but uh, now they are in uh, almost a coffee mode I mean the pigments are more stronger and uh, so the color is darker in some area I make some variation using uh, more ochre, more alizarin crimson and a touch of uh, burnt umber and in some areas also uh, some touches of uh, post blue Now it's time to paint the distant um, trees. I paint them simply using a, uh, some touch of uh, burnt umber and then I'm going to add some dark um, interest areas to make the volume
Then I continue coloring the foreground with some more warm uh, color. Uh, this stage I think that uh, the sky is too bright so once again I uh, prove it uh, the sky and add some blue to those uh, um, clouds So now it's time to um, work on bushes, add more contrast with almost uh, cream like color. So it's time to uh, paint the tree. I use very watery and very, very light uh, grayish mixture of uh, burnt amber and rose blue. Then I continue painting with smaller brush, adding some 
um, aqua and also some blue gray to uh, make some more interest. By dragging my brush uh, while it's tilted, I am going to mimic the branches, the very tiny branches. Then I paint uh, main branches. Uh, keep everything simple as much as possible. So when it's time to uh, pay more attention to distant uh, mountains, using a mixture of blue and purple, I paint those uh, distant mm, mountains, and also once again. I add some more details to my tree.
that's all and this is the magic time when I uh, peel the adhesive uh, paper and the painting uh, pops up pops out.